close up today. A real live, honest to goodness, close up, I think. I did start it. Uh, we'll see when people start chatting whether we got anything. So I am here in the annex with four kittens, one mom cat, and a doctor of medicine. Uh, but uh, we're here to weigh some babies. We're going to weigh these kittens. We're probably going to go next door and weigh those kittens. Uh, and then we've got some things that uh, we should go and see around the house, too, I think. Somebody is at the door there waiting to be seen. Can I zoom in with this? Let's just try. Oh, kind of. Hi. Okay, she's right there. You're going to hear a lot of her. She stopped talking now, though. Oh, there she says it. Okay. So there we have that. All right. I'm surprised by how few people I see in the chat here, but uh, oh, I guess people are coming in now. There we go. Oh, the numbers go up. I was worried for a minute. I was worried for a minute. I started on my personal account instead of the Kitten Academy account. Uh, yeah, but no, it looks like we're in the right spot. Okay, so let's get started here. DJ is going to, I think, write down the weights while we meet them. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello to all of you. Uh, so let's just get started with some weights. This is, uh, we're going to start right here with uh, Rafter. Look at that, Rafter's eyes look very clear today. That's good to see. You didn't clean any eyes this morning, did you? No. Just last night? No. Great. Well, that's little Rafter with her clear eyes. Rafter's a girl. 12.8 ounces today. How's that compared to yesterday, doctor? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. She's 12.8, and that's Rafter. And I'll wait to get to the second one for you. Hey, what do we have to do to get the right light on your little cute face? Is that it? Hi. Say hi to everybody. Wave. Oh, hello, everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rafty. Okay, you sit right there, little cutie. 12.8, 12.4. Good. That's a great game. It's 12.4 to 12.8. Excellent. Uh, I weighed him yesterday, didn't I? Well, that's still technically acceptable, but yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, Okay, you'll figure it oh, out. Oh, I see. You weighed them. You weighed just her earlier in her day? Nope. So this is Gable, the boy. I know they look kind of alike, but if you look closer, you will see that Gable has the very symmetrical face pattern. And if you look at her, oh. This is Rafter. She's very asymmetrical. Hi. Okay. There you go. Just like that. You see? And Rafter, I'm sorry, Gable weighs 12.3. 12.3 for little Gabe. And this is their mom. Her name is Skylight or Sky. She is extremely sweet. She's just always attention seeking. And uh, I think she's starting to really floof out. I think her kittens are all going to be very floofy, too. So, there we go. And then if we want the other kittens, we have to go visit the doctor. I guess we'll take, uh, which one do you want us to take first? This little guy? Okay. You just weighed her. I did, but I didn't weigh her after we fed her. So, now is when we should get the real weight in. So this is our tiniest kitten. Actually, literally our tiniest kitten that's ever been born here. This is Joyce. <laughs> and uh, we're going to weigh her real quick. We, I was saying before we started the close-up, okay, 9.9. .9. Oh, my goodness, 9.9. .9. So before the close-up, I came in here in the morning, and I cleaned out her eyes. Um, and then uh, after I cleaned her eyes, I weighed her real quick, and she weighed 9.2. And I thought, Joyce, that's way too low to be uh, this morning. So I went, and I did all my morning stuff, and I got everybody breakfast, and then I made food for her. And uh, when I came back in here for, with the food for her, I weighed her again to make sure she hadn't eaten anything. And in fact, she had. She weighed 9.5, which was much better. But I went ahead and fed her anyway, and she ate the entire 10 milliliter syringe of food all at once. And so now she weighs 9.9, .9, which is nice to see. And she does the eating on her own. Right? Yeah, she mostly eats by herself. Do I don't that. have to supplement her. Oh, you mean when I use the syringe? Yeah, I just put it in her mouth and she just goes for it. She just she nurses on it. it. Oh, yeah, she decides when she's had enough. Right. Yeah. So she ate that much. That's right. She wanted to. <laughs> so this is our floofiest kitten uh, with no neck. This is 14.5 ounces uh, for um, 
alcove, the girl. This is alcove, Al, the girl Al. And uh, she came with extra floof, but no neck. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she has a neck in there somewhere, but you'd never know it. <laughs> he looks like the fuzziest little bear. And of the whole family, she's the one that has got sort of the calmest attitude, too. Uh, the other one, she doesn't ever yell or complain quite as much as the others do. Um, real easy going, I guess, when you got that much floof. Uh, she's also the heaviest of the entire group, or was. What did she, I just say her weight was? Yeah, 14.5, so still is. So that's little Al Cove. Uh, Joyce ate 10, the whole 10 ml. So there's our first family. That's Skye and her four little babies. But we should go next door. Uh, I see uh, Teddy asking what the white box is. This is a, a wipe warmer for warming up baby wipes. Little baby wipes, that's all. We used that to clean them up uh, quite often. Uh, and this is the eye medicine, <laughs> teramycin, just sitting right there. And this is my coffee, hey, with Freddie Mercury singing to a bunch of cats for some reason. Okay, we're going to go next door. While we're going, i got to talk to you guys about something important. This little girl here, oh, who's yelling at the door, Holly, needs to have an adopter still. Uh, she is super sweet. Our little calico, she was yelling at the door because she can't stand to go five seconds without her human nearby. So whoever adopts her is going to have to give her a lot of attention. Hang on, I just hand sanitized. I'm going to set my phone down. Um, whoever adopts her is going to have to give her a lot of attention. And she was initially going to be adopted with her mom, uh, but that fell through for both of them. So they both need adopters. But now i got hand sanitizer on. Smell bad. Um, but ever since uh, Holiday got her spay, her mom just doesn't really want to have anything to do with her anymore. So in a way, I think it's kind of nice that whoever was adopting them together uh, sort of fell through. Uh, because that means now we've got a chance to get them adopted separately. Which I think in the end is going to be better for them. I see somebody pooped on this blanket while we were out. They've been pooping on their own, but they haven't quite figured out the litter box yet. Earlier they pooped over here, so I put their little, this is the beginner litter box with the uh, sweet scoop. It's the edible litter because the kittens always end up eating the litter to start with. And it's all the way over there because that's where they pooped the first time. But now they poop right in the middle of the blanket, so maybe I should move it back to being a little bit closer. Hi, these kids love to come see me. And... Uh, you may not know, this is, this is Cuddles. Cuddles is the cat that we rescued, uh, which is, I think, the first time we've ever done that. Um, I've never gone and, you know, got the cat from the wild myself that I can recall anyway. Um, she was in the garage and she'd just given birth to these four little kittens and I brought them all back here. And if you go back and watch the videos, especially the videos from Busy Cat or Ruby Sunrise that are so good, I think there's links to those on our channel, both of those channels. Um, you can see how when I first brought her in here, I couldn't touch her, I couldn't get near her. In fact, I'll never forget that first day I was trying to give her a treat. So I got the churu out and I was trying to feed her churu straight from the tube. She was so upset, she smacked it. She's not used to me talking this much at her, so she's a little nervous right now. Um, anyway, she was so upset by the churu and me and everything. She was hissing and growling and she smacked the churu right out of my hand and I couldn't get it back. It was in the little box that she was hanging out in with her for several days um, before I got the churu back. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, that's it's quite a change from where we are now. And it turns out she's not that... I guess, violent of a cat, as, as I originally thought. I thought at first that she was sort of like a feral, um, you know, or semi-feral that was just never going to be easy to get along with. But that's not true about her at all, as it turns out. Uh, it turns out that she's actually extremely friendly and easygoing, um, but she only knows how to sort of express herself, or she's got these triggers, I guess, is a better way to put it, where she's, even though she really wants to hug you, or, you know, give you love, 
sometimes she, she just got this impulse she can't resist to sort of hiss and swat too um which has been happening to me lately that's that's the point where we are in our relationship now where i think we understand each other pretty well and she's so happy to see me most of the time when i come into the room she jumps right up comes to the door her tail's up in the air she's all happy she wants to rub on my ankles and I'll, if i put my hand down there towards her face she will rub her face all over my hand really happy to see me um, but the thing that we're working on now is she's still got those reflexes where if i then start trying to pet her while i'm standing up especially when i'm standing over her um, even though she's right in the middle of trying to get love from me if i start the petting that'll usually set her off a little bit and she'll hiss and she doesn't know what to do but then immediately when she hisses and swats at me you can tell immediately she's like oh i didn't mean to do that i'm so sorry uh, you know and then i can just keep petting her um but it, you can tell that it's sort of a uh, like a mental uh conflict for her where she's got that that reflex and that impulse and she probably doesn't even want it um but it's just the way she is and that's fine too this little guy is hot chocolate and hot chocolate is the biggest explorer in this group and has also been eating very well all by himself without any help uh, i'm just going to help him by putting the food in front of his face there we go there we go so that's hot chocolate um i'm saying he actually i can't remember the genders right now of the kittens in this room and it's not important um i'm sure i'm going to get them wrong anyway but uh, hot chocolate is of this group sort of the um the most adventurous and outgoing and most likely to come up to you to see what you're doing has been chasing dj and i when we go to leave there we go thanks megalina hot chocolate's a girl um when when dj and i leave the room usually we've got a hot chocolate trying to chase behind us as fast as she can um and as i mentioned she's the only one out of all eight kittens in both classes together that is eating solid food on her own um, not consistently, of course, she still gets most of her calories from nursing, but uh, she definitely goes over here and eats and she drinks and she's super, super. So let's wait here real quick. Oh, hello again. Did you follow me in here? Uh, let's see. So this is hot chocolate. She's coming to me. You can see not to her mom. Hi. Let's see your pretty, pretty face. Oh, you look sad. we have got sad eyes. You're not sad at all, though. Sit right there. Oh, almost a pound, 15.8 ounces. These guys are only two days older than the other class for sure. Like I'm not guessing. I know for a fact that they're only two days older than the other guys, yet they're so much heavier. Of course, Skye did have a lot of trouble nursing her kids those first few days. She just wasn't quite ready for it. And I don't think that, uh, I don't think that um, Cuddles here went through that same issue. So that might account for some of the difference. You know, those early days count for quite a bit. Um, or, you know, they just, they might just be faster growers. That's something else too. Hi, buddy. Hi, Chuck. Hi, you got things to do, huh? Important kitten things to do with it. Don't involve seeing mom. Okay, let's weigh some more of these kids though. Uh, let's see, the twins we got, which one is this? All right, we can tell from looking here and here, you see the little white toes? But this is pajamas, the girl. So pajamas, the girl. There we go. Oh, oh, hi, 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 hi. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I'm trying to find the right light so that we can actually see your face. Maybe I need to wipe off this camera real quick too. Let me do that. Well, we weigh you at 17.8. 17.8. My goodness, you're some big kids. Sorry, that was probably noisy too. Let's see if that makes any difference to what we see. <laughs> Still looks like it might be a little dirty to me, but that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. It's important to get these kids used to being handled. So um, I know we just did that other room and they weren't quite so yelly. Um, but uh, even when they yell and complain about being picked up and the way that I'm holding them and stuff, um, I'm always holding them carefully. And I, I just I want to remind everybody how important this is for them to grow up and not be like their mom where she's always a little bit hand shy. These guys don't have that at all so far, and we're hoping to keep it that way for them. Oh, she likes to have her chest scratched. You see, this is a new thing for us that we're trying out. 
And uh, it makes me nervous when I try new things with her because I don't know exactly where her limit's going to be. But you can see that she likes, oh, she likes this a lot. She even rolls over when I start to do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's the good stuff, I know. Okay, oh, she doesn't quite know how to take it, though. All right, so that was Pajamas, the girl, and then we have her twin brother. Oh, I can see who's been pooping. That's also hot chocolate, because hot chocolate's got a dirty butt that needs to be cleaned. Uh, is this Pajamas again? No, you can tell. Okay. So this is Pajamas twin brother, who uh, is named... Um, uh, uh, hang on, word's failing me. I know this very well, too. Uh, don't tell me. Brain, brain, coffee, work. Activate. Uh, go, go, gadget brain. Uh, hot chocolate, marshmallow, pajamas, cashmere. Ha, <laughs> I cheated. I saw Magdalena say it. Okay. <laughs> cashmere. <laughs> oh, look, you seem very calm today, though, buddy. I do think that he's much calmer than the, uh, the girls are in this class. And our scale turned off, so we got to wait a second on cashmere here. Okay, sit right there. Holy cow, 18.7. That is one big boy. It is hard to believe that they're only two days older, but yeah, it's true. It's definitely true. Okay, there you go. All right, that leaves us with only a marshmallow to check out. Little Marsh, who does turn out to be a boy, I think. Isn't that what I said? I think, I think that's what I said. I'm not going to look right now. You're just going to have to go with whatever I said before. Okay. This is Marshmallow. As you can tell, he is all black except for he's got a little bit of white on his belly, just a tiny spot somewhere, and I think maybe one on his neck, but they're very hard to see. Might even grow out of it entirely. And let's sit right there. 16.1, just over a pound. We can't see your eyes at all, buddy. You're such a little black void. You're so pretty, though, and very sweet. There, oh, there you go. Now you can see him. Doesn't he look good? Yeah. He's like, what are you doing to me? Okay, pal. I know, you're a cutie bean. All right, so that's Cuddles and Cuddles Kittens. And hot chocolate. I did want to clean you. Where are the wipes? Tell you what, everybody. Let me get you to uh, there's a stand on this phone. Can I get it at an angle where I can set it down and you can see something while I walk away for a sec? Not really, huh? Pushing. Okay, let's put it right here. Let's put this under it. I'm going to get the wipes. They're right over there. Take me two seconds. And we're going to wipe a kitten. I think the tripod's in the first annex. I should have thought to pick that up while we were in there, but bygones. Ooh, okay. Come here for one second, buddy. I saw your dirty, dirty butt. Let's clean it up for you, okay? And then let's try a little something here. When we have kittens that are just learning to use the litter box... Hi, buddy. Okay, I'm just going to clean your little butt. There we go. We got it. Say hi to the camera while we do. Uh, when we have cameras, uh, cameras. When we have kittens that are just learning to use the litter box, one of the things that we do. This is going to at the same time. Apologies in advance. Uh, mostly impossible. We're going to try it anyway. Um, one of the things that I do is I put them in the litter box so that they know what it is, and then I sort of move their feet like the kittens do when they uh, when they want to dig in the litter box. You know, Here, like this. I put them in, and then I make them dig by moving their little front feet and uh i guess you know when they're ready that usually is enough stimulation to get them to figure out the whole thing where they go oh i get this and then they start digging and then they start pooping or peeing uh looks like hot chocolate's not quite ready for that whole lesson <laughs> okay well that's good though it's a start okay let's bring you back to everybody else then Right over there. Okay. Well, since we're rolling, why don't we do two things here? I'm going to try to pet mom standing up real quick while talking to her. So this is really pushing my luck a lot. Um, but it's a good 
just a good little lesson for her. Here we go. We got to get used to this stuff together, don't we? This is very difficult for her, and she's doing a good job. Okay. Hey, buddy, you going to start the Junior Camera Operators Club? <laughs> okay. Okay, hot chocolate. This is what I'm talking about. Like, it was very, uh, what am I thinking? Like, Jonathan Livingston Seagull? Isn't that what that story was about, kind of? About the one seagull that had important kitten things to do instead of being a seagull? I don't know, that's the way I remember it, but I don't think I've heard that story except once in, in summer camp, and I can't say I especially remember it. Okay, well, he'll find his way back, and if he doesn't, we'll come check on him in just a little bit. I know, everybody else is going to be just this cute and exploring, too, before long, but, you know, there's got to be a first. Oh, in the donut shop, even. Wow, he really is advanced. I'm surprised that he not only gets around so well, that he, he navigates so well. He's really starting to get it figured out there. She, uh, he, she, she, no, she, he? Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? I'm going now. We're all gonna go now. <laughs> okay. I gotta swing by the uh, laundry here real quick and take their thing and put it over there, okay. Grab the leftover milk and coffee since we're going downstairs together, I think. Hi, Holly. Oh, do we want to swing by here real quick, though, and say hi to Teaspoon? DJ still hasn't unpacked from her trip entirely. Oh, I thought Teaspoon would be right there, but he's not. Uh, is he over here in one of these pods with Ari? Hey, bud. He's got his pillow out, but there's no Teaspoon in there, is there? I don't see one. Okay. Holly is so sweet on the faculty. She was just hissing at the kittens when she get, went into the uh, kitten annex this morning with Sky. But uh, she's not typically a cat hisser. She, I think she just didn't expect kittens, little tiny kittens. And they might freak her out a little bit. But when it comes to other cats, like the faculty or even her mom, nothing gets her down. She just wants to be friends with them so much. She goes up and she rubs on them. Oh, there he is. Did we go right by you a second ago? Everybody saw you maybe sitting here next to the luggage when I panned over it. I'm the only one that missed it, huh? So, Teaspoon's got a bit of that URI that's been going around. I think it's the same one. Um, you know, he's a little more susceptible to those things, so we're giving him all the meds, but you might hear him being a little extra snorty. Oh, good job snorting for us right when I said that. He's got the Darth Vader thing going on. But we just picked up antibiotics this morning. Oh my goodness, Dr. K over at Aristocats in Fairfield is so good to us because they're closed today. But we sent her a message yesterday saying, hey, can we get some antibiotics for Teaspoon, sight unseen? And she says, sure, uh, you can stop by tomorrow while I'm there to take care of the cats that are on boarding or that are you know, in the uh, medical watch or whatever. Uh, and uh, I said, well, you know, we can coordinate a time or maybe you can just leave the meds for us. And she did. She put them in a drop box for us. Uh, and DJ went and picked them up this morning. Dr. K is really nice that way. Hi, Holly, what do you want? What do you want? She just needs so much love. I told you. Okay. All right. Well, let's go see her mom and brothers real quick, too. Uh, they're locked up together right now because, okay, hang on, what a... oh no, 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 oh no, well you didn't get to see how cute they were just now. So the boys and mom are locked up together right now because, Cuddles, no, this is not Cuddles, this is um, Cal, the C names are going to get me, DJ keeps doing that to me, there's 26 letters in the English alphabet. You'd think we could have one set of kittens where we don't repeat them in the same sounds. Uh, but here, anyway, this is Cal, Calendar. You can see, yeah, she's kind of an American bobtail, manxy thing. And these are two of her boys. This is Friday. 
and this is Monday. And uh, yeah, like Megalina just said, Friday is getting adopted this weekend. So he'll be leaving soon. And I'm going to miss him quite a bit because uh, right after Holly, he's definitely the second most attention seeking of this group. And so he's all over me almost all the time. And not having him here is going to be an absence we'll definitely feel. Now, I can let Holly in uh, if you want to see what's going on between her and her mom lately. It's not as bad as it was at first, but she's still going to get hissed at and probably swatted at. But I think a cool thing about Holly is uh, she doesn't mind. She doesn't take it poorly. Uh, she takes it all very well. Are you going to come in here, Holly? She walked away. No, I think she just she would go to a different door. Yeah, she went to a different door. Here she comes. Hi. She's so good natured about all of it. She might even try to rub up on her mom, even though uh, you see she doesn't react poorly. Yeah, uh, Cal, Cal, be good. You be good. You know to be good. She does actually know to be good. Whenever I correct her, she immediately stops or runs away or calms down. If I pet them together, she'll be cool about it. So I think you could easily teach them to be friends again if you had the time and wanted to make that effort. But I don't. Uh, I think it would be easier just to adopt her with, uh, this was the other thing I wanted to say. It's so important. I keep uh, not saying the important thing until late. Uh, but yeah, the important news is I think Friday also we need, uh, not Friday, Monday here. This is Monday. Monday also needs to find another adopter. And I think Monday and Cal would go together like a lobster and a buttered roll. Uh, no, that's not a good analogy. Uh, they would go together really well. They get along great. You can see I put them in the room together because they love each other so much. Teaspoon, what are you doing here? You don't need to be here. Um, and actually, uh, the fact is that, that Monday here uh, is also uh, most likely to want to go hang out with his mom instead of me. So they not only do they get along well, but they almost kind of prefer each other's company sometimes and would be really, really great adopted together. Cal is herself a crazy wild kitten. She loves to run around and play and uh, wrestles with uh, Monday and Friday all week, even on the weekends. Just a, just a real fun young mom cat of these kids with her little bobtail and their bobtail is so silly when she starts swinging it around she gets excited and she starts wagging it <laughs> she's like what are you doing don't pick me up i wanted to show him your tail but now you're just gonna hide out huh okay so that's where we are um uh monday's uh, doctor i haven't heard anything back from so i think it's time to say uh, that Monday and Holiday, who I let out, and Cal all need replacement adopters. And if you wanted to apply for one of them, you could do that by going to kitten.academy, our website. And there's an application there, and it's a lengthy, annoying application. I keep meaning to replace with something easier to use. But so far, I haven't done that. Um, and, uh, you know, someday... Uh, but you'll get through it. If you want to adopt these kittens, you know, that's just uh, that's part of the gauntlet, I guess. <laughs> All right. So that was it. Thanks say, thanks for dropping in and saying hello to me this morning, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is sort of spontaneous. I <laughs> always <Holly's> paw. <laughs> Maybe I'll let the boys out if they want to go play and Cal can stay in here for a little while. So the other, I was going to say, Cal's in here not only for Holly. She also has been kind of growly at Teaspoon, which DJ will not stand for, of course, Teaspoon being her little baby. And uh, occasionally also at some of the faculty. Um, I don't really know who. I don't let her around Maggie just in case. Uh, and I haven't paid attention to who else it is that she's not super happy with lately. I do think it's mostly Teaspoon that gets her going, though, and Holly. And she's pretty fine with everybody else. You'll remember that she's been super friendly, just like Holly is, where she just wanted to rub up on everybody. Um, but I think maybe she's made a few too many friends here at the Academy and she's ready to go someplace quieter. That's uh, Cal, their mom that I'm talking about. So. All right, now I'm going to end this and go find breakfast and coffee or something. But thanks for joining me. And 
I guess we'll see all of you guys next time. Don't forget to tune in to the regular Kitten Academy live stream. You can watch these kittens or the little kittens all day long. And don't, um, don't forget something else. Uh, there was something else. It was important. And I forgot it. Okay, I should have talked to myself first. Well, that aside, uh, Kitten Academy live stream is the place to watch the kittens all day. Uh, there's, uh, I don't know if you can see Loganberry out there in the rain. He's under the roof, so he's fine, but enjoying himself. On this rainy spring day. Uh, Jojo, thank you. Yes, there is mailbag tomorrow. That's not what I was going to say, but yeah, we're planning on mailbag tomorrow. I still have to go pick up the mail today, later. Uh, what was it? There was something else. I was going to say the applications, the kittens that we need adopted, you got all that. Uh, you've got the fact that Friday's adopter is picking him up on uh, Sunday this weekend. And um, eeny, meeny, miny. Ah, whatever. Oh, uh, I do want to say thank you to the admins, though, um, the ones that, that really help us with so much stuff. I can't even give enough credit. Any oh, I know the other thing I wanted to say, too, speaking of that. Okay, hang on. Uh, it was uh, admins, and I wanted to mention the channels that are linked to from us one more time, too. So admins first, thank you so much. I honestly can't thank you enough. Uh, they often are responsible for making sure there are kittens on camera, and they're responsible for all of the uploads to our channel now and uh, doing a fantastic job of keeping all that going. Never, that's not even to mention all the work that they do on our Discord, uh, helping keep the community going and uh, you know on the right channel and uh, um, answering questions, just great stuff. So thank you. And then also, I don't know where you find this. I know if you go to our channel page on YouTube, I think if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's got links to other channels that we recommend. Uh, on ours, but uh, otherwise, I, wherever you find the recommended channels or the suggested or whatever for, for a particular YouTube, uh, go to ours and you will find Ruby Moon and Busy Cat and uh, one other. Uh, who's the other one there? I don't remember. Um, sorry. I feel bad now, but uh, uh, Ruby Sunrise on YouTube. Sorry. Thanks, Megalina. That helps too with the link there in chat. Uh, they make wonderful videos, both of them, that often will have the highlights for the day or a little story about what's been going on here recently. And uh, since these close-ups have been so sparse, I highly recommend both of them. Oh, Will's the third one. I didn't know Will got linked, actually, so that's perfect. Uh, Will also counts then. Uh, Will's a double whammy, in fact, an admin and has uh, videos of things that have happened at KA. So that is excellent um i just i not, I not only do i suggest them just for great viewing but also because i think if uh if you do watch those you'll get a real feel for the personality of these kittens you don't have to watch the video uh the live feed all day long just to try to see when something super exciting happens uh those three have it very well covered and if you subscribe to their channels and watch their videos uh, you will get just the, the good stuff, sort of edited down if you don't have all day to watch Kitten Academy like some of us do. That's uh, Sage's handmade bunny there. It's so cute. It's also very stained. It's been overloved. Look at that eye. Oh, that's kind of, that's frightening actually in a way. <laughs> it's definitely gotten so much love here. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's everything I wanted to say. Uh, definitely uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was good. And um, again, uh, check out those channels that we link to if you want to see some more. And check out the regular live stream if you have all day to tune in and sort of keep an eye on things. And I will see all of you later on. Get Teaspoon in there, buddy. Teaspoon, you playing? It's good to see you playing. You must be feeling a little better. Kind of playing. <laughs> Okay. Well, Logan Berry's at the door trying to come in, and Holly's there too, and they've got a little jam, a little traffic jam going on. In or out, Holly? Friday now. Nope, that's Monday. Sorry, this one's Friday. Oh, 
all three of them. Why? I think all three of them know how to use that door and go out there. It's just the fact that Logan's sitting there, I guess. Oh, there you go. Friday is the one that actually went out. Logan is now in. I just switched, just a swap, a Friday for a Logan. Of course, Holly's the one that wants to go be friends. Okay, I'm really going to go now. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Friday. Okay, have fun out there. Too wet for you, huh?